Fresno State is doing all they can to prepare themselves just in case the realignment dominoes fall their way and they get an invitation to the Big 12 Conference. Welcome to episode 174 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, if you need a little bit of extra college football content to get you through the days, to get you through the nights, subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. Two, four, seven sports. Fresno State by Dean Scracca. Conference realignment. Fresno State University president reportedly confirms Big 12 interest in the Fresno State Bulldogs. This was released this afternoon. Saturday afternoon, the Big 12 Conference has shown interest in Fresno State University as a potential expansion candidate. University President Saul Jimenez Sandoval reportedly confirmed via the San Joaquin Valley, Valley Sun. Jimenez Sandoval during a Thursday confab concerning a sales tax initiative, Measure E, that would benefit academic and athletics projects as Fresno State said there is an interest on the Big 12s and regarding the Bulldogs as the league looks to establish a presence on the West Coast per the Sun. Per the Sun, University President Saul Jimenez, Jimenez Sandoval says, look, concerning the sales initiative, Measure E, there's interest from the Big 12. You better believe there is. Fresno State backup plan to get Big 12 into the state of California, Measure E, if passed, could be the ticket to upgrades for Fresno State that would at least boost the school's candidacy to join a Power Five conference as an expansion candidate. Among targeted projects by Fresno State per the Sun are a 160 million renovation project to Valley's Children's Stadium and a 47 million renovation of the Duncan Athletic Center. Wow, 160 million for the Children's Stadium, Valley Children's Stadium, and another 47 re renovation of the Duncan Athletic Center. The campaign to pass Measure E is the second in as many years. Fresno County voters opted against Measure E this past November by a 47.14 to a 52.86% vote. It was close. It was close. Maybe now that there's more steam that Fresno State is a possible, they definitely are a backup Big 12 expansion plan candidate. Maybe now they can get the votes. Back to the article, Fresno State has been linked to expansion rumors concerning both the Big 12 and the Pac-12 within the past year at the USC and UCLA announced in June 2022 that will, they will depart the Pac-12 for the Big 10 in 2024. Fresno State, a member of the Mountain West Conference since 2012, is one of the seven base California schools that competes at the FBS level in college football, joined by USC, UCLA, San Diego State, San Jose State, California, and Stanford. Fellow Mountain West members, San, San Diego State and San Jose State, are the only other group of five P FBS programs in California. And San Diego State has been widely reported as a top expansion target of the Pac-12 as it looks to retain some presence in Southern California with USC and UCLA on the way out. The Big 12 Conference is in its first year under the leadership of Commissioner Brett Yormark, who took over last summer and vowed that the league will go on to all efforts in maximizing its value. On the expansion front, Reports have repeatedly surfaced of the Big 12 engaging in conversations with multiple Pac-12 schools, though no movement has occurred at this time. The Pac-12 is still attempting to negotiate a new media rights deal as its current contract with Fox in ESPN will expire in 2024. Your mark, speaking with Pac-12 insider John Canzano early in the year, confirmed the desire to expand the Big 12 into the Pacific time zone, but did not name any specific expansion candidates. 
Your mark at the Big 12 Men's Basketball Tournament early in March did express admiration for Gonzaga, which had been previously linked to the Big 12 as a basketball expansion candidate given the Bulldogs' success on the hardwood. I'm not targeting anyone specifically, Yormark said via John Canzano. I've been saying it. I've been pretty transparent and intentional that we would like that fourth time zone, national conference, fourth time zone, to create more value for our media partners. Would I like to be a national conference in all different time zones and from a geography standpoint, have our Big 12 flag all over the country? 100%. We'll see where we end up. And finally, in this article, the Big 12 secured a new media rights deal with existing partners Fox and ESPN this past fall that will go into effect in the 2025 and runs through 2031. The upcoming school year sees the Big 12 welcome four new members, BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, UCF, as the league prepares to span three time zones for the first time. It will also be the league's final year with Oklahoma and Texas as members as those two depart for 2024. So there it is. From 247 Sports, Fresno State trying to pass Measure E to put more money into their facilities. $160 million here, $47 million there. Fresno State trying to prepare themselves because they know, come on, they've been talking with Brett Yormark. We all know this is how realignment works. It's dominoes, right? But it starts at the top. Fresno State is not at the top. They're at the bottom. They have to wait to see how the dominoes fall. Will the Big 12 be successful in poaching some of the Pac-12 schools? If not, is Fresno State still a candidate for Big 12? How much interest does Brett Yormark have in going into California, making sure they get into the Pacific time zone, making sure they create a national conference, making sure they can offer a fourth time window for their current media partners, Fox and ESPN? I think Yormark wants it bad. I think Fresno State is doing the correct thing. The county trying to pass a bill to, to boost their chances, to boost their candidacy, just in case the dominoes fall or do not fall their way. Fresno State, backup plan for Big 12 expansion? Oh yeah, I think so. Most definite. They're going to do all they can. They're doing all they can to make sure if the opportunity is there, they can grab it. What do you think? Put down your comments. Put down your thoughts in the comments section below the video. Will your mark act on Fresno State if he can't get anybody else if he can't get any of those Pac-12 schools will Fresno State be a partner an expansion candidate will they become a Big 12 member also let me know your thoughts on the potential let's say you are marking the Big 12 successfully poaches three Pac-12 schools let's say it's the two Arizona schools let's say it's Colorado school but no one else wants to come with and your mark still wants to fulfill to get that California spot Will Fresno State still be a candidate to be the 16th member of the Big 12? Put, put down your comments in your thoughts in the comments section below the video. I read them all. I can't wait to read them. Uh, wow, Fresno State doing all they can. A lot of universities right now are trying to improve themselves because realignment is not done. In fact, realignment never sleeps hang with us here at peek around the corner as we cover this story and so many others here in the offseason college football until next time from all of us at patc to all of you please please you all take good care of each other thank you so very much